want to start off tonight with a live look at the Colorado State Capitol. What you're not seeing, large crowds or really not much action at all. We started this day expecting potentially armed protests here in Colorado and all across the country. We soon found out why people aren't showing up. Denver 7 Sloan Dickey has the story from our Capitol steps. Well, there were protests that were planned for today, but if you can see behind me, very few people actually showed up. Now, the few people that were here, we spoke to them and they said that those online posting boards and the movements that were meant to organize protests like this were very disorganized. An election protest. I don't know what happened. That wasn't. Biden and, and his team, I, I feel, are going to try to take our guns take our rights pretty much. Across the country, Trump supporters were expected to rally in front of barricaded Capitol buildings. Well, the election, I think, was stolen. But in many cities, like in Denver, just a handful showed up. Really, nobody's discussing plans because no one really is <laughs> comfortable, you know, organizing anything. This woman shared a flyer she said was disseminated online calling off a gun rally set for Sunday afternoon. There was an armed march nationwide planned for this day at state capitals nationwide. Um, that was planned before January 6th. She says since rioters broke into the U.S. Capitol building, conservative movements have been disorganized on how to move forward. The people that are unhappy with the election are a very uh, fractured group disparate groups. She says even protests planned for Inauguration Day here have failed to gain traction. It's been determined that, that to come today would be unsafe for, for the Liberty community. As law enforcement braced for protests ahead of Inauguration Day. Show my support for Trump. The few that showed up on Sunday are unsure who will join them. I expected more than me, the lone wolf. <laughs> Now, regardless of what happens this week, security is still strong in this area. There's a fence around the Capitol building and police presence prepared for any civil unrest that happens this week. Back to you.